Today, we're excited to welcome two sisters who turned their mom's chocolate-covered pretzel recipe into a booming business. Allie and Lauren Borowick join us to talk about founding Fatty Sundays, their unplanned pretzel empire, and working together in business as sisters. This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I live and breathe the hustle of business. Today, we're filming from the hustle of it all at the WeWork Times Square in New York City. Okay, everybody, let's give Allie and Lauren a really big warm welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for, for having, having us. us. You're welcome. You co-founded Fatty Sundays, a gourmet pretzel company that distributes and sells online and across the country to the direct consumer. This is amazing. What inspired your love for pretzels? Our mom always used to make us sprinkled chocolate covered pretzels, which was the inspiration behind this entire thing. And here we are reinventing chocolate covered pretzels with fun flavors and packaging. Well, the packaging is stunning. Thank you. And all I want to do is dig into this bag and grab one of these colorful <laughs> little pieces right now. And this is beautiful. It's like almost like a little bookshelf. That's our pretzel. It, yeah, the pretzel library. Is that, yeah, yeah. that's what it, that's great. Well, um, I, I feel like your background is a graphic designer, right? And then your background as an accountant has, ha, has to help inspire you and make Fatty Sundays what it is today. Yeah, so I was doing graphic design and really just the packaging, the branding, the visuals, yeah. the creative, everything sort of has been a work in progress and has evolved, but my experience um, before this has definitely helped. And I think that's one of the things that makes Fatty Sundays stand out. So it's fun. And I was supposed to work for Ernst & Young. Yeah. I left my job there. Well, had an internship and then never actually took the offer. And uh, I focused mostly on the logistics, the finance, manufacturing, things like that. Um, but I always say that my education helped me less, you know, the day-to-day -day of what we're doing, but like how to get things done, kind of yeah. how we think. Yeah, so. She's like the right side, I'm the left side. Of what about the side around like actual like culinary school or? No, yeah, yeah. none of that. And, <laughs> and that, was that ever? A no, concern? We, no. We mm -hmm. just, we went for it. We we had our mom's recipe as like the, the start of all this and just figured it out as we, as we grew. The pretzel is a very casual, it could be the most casual of all snacks. This is fancy. Yeah. This is premium. This is elegant. How did you do this? I am obsessed with paper and packaging and design and have for seven years obsessed over the paper, the packaging and yeah. the design. So. I know that um, the quality of the product has to also taste really great and be enjoyable, right? How much have you strayed from mom's original recipe? I have to ask. Well, she started with just the sprinkle pretzel. Yeah. Um, so we've come out with, we've got nine different flavors now, but every time, you know, it just, using premium ingredients and what everyone would love. We, you know, we start the taste testing originally at home and now in our office with our team and just one thing kind of leads to another. We definitely take everyone's recommendations, but that's kind of how each one evolves. And we're just looking to do it differently than what's out there. So kind of not doing, you know, the standard chocolate cover pretzel stuff and really thinking about the chocolate, the toppings, the presentation, how it looks, the, you know, the grind of the topping, like we, we think about every detail <laughs> in detail. And that's what makes you stand out on the yeah. shelves. And it looks different. It just, you know, chocolate covered pretzels, we always say like chocolate covered pretzels aren't a new idea. We didn't invent the chocolate covered pretzel, but we're reinventing chocolate covered pretzels and we're modernizing them and making them fun again. As sisters and business owners, I imagine you're very close. How have you gone about building your team to let people in to help? One step at a time, <laughs> I would say that's first, but um, we, you know, we can't do it on our own. Our team is amazing. We wouldn't be where we are without them for sure, but you know, it's like we have a trust that you can't really replicate, obviously, because we are family, but you know, I think the first year, two years, we were doing it all on our own, and once we started to grow, we knew that that wasn't possible anymore, and just searching for, for the best crew that we can the find. Right people, they're all part of our family now, we like to say, like, it's like the bigger Fatty Sundays family, and just, yeah, taking our time and, and finding the right people to trust and, and work with. And you mentioned you have nine flavors. Mm -hmm. um, I have to ask, what is your favorite flavor? Peppermint, for sure. So salted caramel is probably my favorite flavor 
at the moment. Okay. We did, I have to say, we had peanut butter and jelly, which wasn't oh. the most popular, oh. so it's gone. But that was my favorite flavor for a so long time. It's in the archive. Time. Maybe we'll And it, it, ju it just went away, so I'm still like, it's a touchy subject. <laughs> I'd love to hear more about that process, actually, about flavors. Yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, we're all about fun flavor chocolate over pretzels yeah. and doing things differently. So when we do come up with flavors, we have to think about it on a pretzel and, you know, how does it appeal to the masses? So, for example, pina colada <laughs> doesn't work. Nobody, nobody liked it. Um, but then things like toffee, which when we started the business, it was like, there's so much toffee in the world. Like, do we really need to do a toffee chocolate over pretzel? It's our best seller. It's classic, Hands it's down, familiar, no everyone loves it. So like, we can't imagine a like, world without our toffee chocolate over pretzels, but like, you know, so, you know, it's finding a balance. As you look back over the last seven years running Fatty Sundays, what would you describe as your made it moment? I don't think there's like one made it moment, right? Cause that sounds so final. And, yes. and it's, it's like once, so that to me, it's like if you've made it, then like, then yeah. what? Yeah. So I think, Every day is something new. It really, and I know that sounds so cheesy, but it's really every day is like a different milestone. Different things happen. Of course, some are more exciting, and you know, some hurdles are bigger than others. But every day, something new. We're just, making it every day. Yeah. We're just one foot in front of the other. Is mom involved at all? So she, in the beginning, was there every day in the kitchen with us. <laughs> um, we put her back to work. She likes to say, really? and she. <laughs> You know, now is more like backup emergency. We need extra hands. Um, she's there always for moral support and bouncing ideas off of and all that, but. Our dad yeah. is actually also very involved yeah. and like our number one salesman of every trade show with us. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, he's, you know, he doesn't do this full time with us yet, yeah. but um, he's definitely very much involved in like on the, you know, business side of yeah. things. And, and is and the advisor. business side like around, like when you say trade shows, is it about getting the package on a shelf or is it around an online component? So some of the shows we do are just like about gifting okay. and, and, you know, getting the word out there about all the corporate gifting and special event stuff we do. Um, others are, you know, gourmet shops and that sort of thing. And then... Okay. Union Square Holiday yeah. Market in the city. Yeah. We've been doing that for the yeah, last couple of years. years. And if you're there on a Saturday or Sunday, you'll probably see our dad. Yeah. He, he won't leave the there booth. all day, <laughs> rain or shine. He Every is... weekend. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that and opening yeah. up. We are now going to play my favorite game called Hustle Time. All right, team, might I please have 60 seconds on the clock? Okay. Apple or Android? Apple. If a genie granted you three wishes, what would you wish for? Uh, time travel, fly, and talk to animals. Snapchat, has a long life or is a lost cause? Lost cause. Large dogs or lap dogs? In the middle. Chardonnay, yay or nay? Chardonnay, yay. Fireplace or fire pit? Fire pit. What's the first app you open in the morning? Email. Song that is currently stuck in your head? Uh, ABCs. <laughs> Aliens, fact or fiction? Fact. You have to lose access forever. Do you pick search engines or social media? Social media. One thing you'd want it on a desert island with you? Water. Favorite pastime, music or movies? Music. Music. Music or podcasts? Podcast. Three things in your closet right now? Shoes, clothes, <laughs> Dream dinner guest? Oprah. Binge watch or watch weekly? Uh, weekly. Would you rather never get angry or never be envious? Never be envious. Best place you've traveled? I'm off the coast. Finish a sentence when I dance I look like? Silly. Sashimi or rolls? Sashimi. Roll. Favorite workout, arms, legs, or abs? All. Uh, All the above. <laughs> okay, we're gonna count that. We're gonna count that. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Nicely done. Favorite part of your day? Morning when I go walk and get coffee. Also the morning. Best piece of advice you've ever gotten? It's okay to say no. You can be everything to everyone. Keep going. Worst piece of advice? Try to be everything to everyone. <laughs> How do you use your career to inspire others? I think by showing that, you know, you can leave behind the norm. We both quit our jobs and follow your passion. It takes hard work, but it's doable if you put it in. Ever felt like walking away? Yeah. <laughs> One thing you still need to learn. Always room to, to learn how to better communicate. Better communicate, <laughs> yeah. Time management. What do you want people to learn from you? That it's possible. I think it's 
It's possible. You just have to put the work in. It's, and it doesn't get easier. It gets harder. <laughs> Someone on my team told me that this next one is going to be quite an answer. What's next for you? <laughs> we invented and created and made official National Chocolate Covered Pretzel Day, which wasn't a holiday previously, like on the national calendar of, like, day foodie of foodie holidays. <laughs> um, and it will be celebrated annually on October 7th. And we are from now until the end of from time. From now until the end of time. And we are so excited. <laughs> And we are going to be celebrating in a big way. And it's, I mean, we created a holiday. Like, we literally created a holiday. How, wait, who are you even applying to? What, what is going on there's, here? There's a national day calendar. Yeah, there's one company that, like, makes it official. And there was only a national pretzel day that we've celebrated the last, you know, couple of years. Yeah. And we realized we needed a national chocolate covered pretzel day. So we applied and we made it official. Who inspires you? Dad. Our dad. dad. And who challenges you? My dad. I was going to say, is it dad as well? Uh, For yeah. sure. I'm going to meet and dad at the market. Yeah, I, I'm going to meet him. Yeah. Yeah. It's their customers also yeah. challenge us daily. Yeah. Well, we let folks know that you were coming in social, and I think you did as well. Yeah. Sarah P. asks, how do you come up with new flavors? So it's we start with a whole list of ideas. Okay that we kind of pull from our team, from our brains, our, um, our followers, followers our well. customers. We, we put it out there and we take all, all of the answers and kind of figure out which, I think last year we, it was like which 10 do we think would be something. And then we have, as a team, we kind of figure out the chocolate type that, you know, we do dark milk or white chocolates. So we figure out which chocolate type would work best and then what the topping situation looks like. And then we try out 10 or so different flavors on dark milk and white chocolate and taste get the whole team involved. We taste test all of them, narrow it down. Can we do it better? What are the options? Like really think it through and think about the like, you know, would everybody love this? Is this like too niche? Is it too boring? Whatever it is. And just kind of narrow it down until we, the best one wins. And how often do you do that? So it's generally um, yearly. Okay. Um, last year we did salted caramel was our newest flavor. It's dark chocolate yeah. with salted, uh, with caramel bits and sea salt. Well, this uh, next piece of advice is for our entrepreneurial. Here he comes. Noodle has always been family oriented and values his friendships. He is considering going into business with his master, Jonathan, but he's slightly concerned about doing business with a loved one. <laughs> what advice would you give someone who works closely with a friend or a family member? It's all about communication. All about communication. Um, yeah, just being the best communicator possible and um, just continuing to work on that. Um, there is nothing better than working with like friends or family. It just takes discipline and growth and it, it evolves and yeah. How, how do you think about the, the reporting structure? Like would, would Noodle be Jonathan's boss or would it be the other way around? I think finding that like delegating and, yeah. and being very clear on the responsibilities is really yeah. important. When we knowing started, what you're good at. Yeah when we first started we were doing a lot of the same things because who knows how to run a business when you yeah. first get started. Yeah. And as we've grown, we've really delegated and yeah. separated, which has helped to make everything. Yeah, and she's really good at certain things, and I'm really good at certain things. Our so skill sets figured, are like polar yeah. opposites, which I think works to our advantage. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, especially yeah, in the beginning. Especially in your background, like, like with the accounting versus design, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, that, that sounds like a great partnership. Yeah. So I love that. Noodle, you hear that? Well, in closing, we like to leave everybody with a final thought. And so I'm going to share three quotes and ask you which quote resonates the most with you and why. And you could each have your own quote. You can agree on the same one. Let's see, let's see what you think, okay? Number one, trust because you are willing to accept the risk, not because it's safe or certain. Two, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Three, opportunities don't happen, you create them. I'd say, three opportunities don't happen you create them because 
it's true. Like if you just, you know, sit around thinking that or thinking about things you want to happen, it won't. You have to put the work in and see it through and you're gonna have an idea and it's gonna be great. It's gonna fail like a thousand times and just you gotta keep at it. But it's all in your control. I'd say the second one um, about failing 10,000 different yeah. ways. I yeah. think hindsight's 2020, 20, and you learn from your mistakes and you just keep going. And it's, you know, we've all been there. So we sure have. <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun meeting you today. Thank you. Uh, Thanks for having me. Really, I, I so much enjoyed this conversation. I absolutely am obsessed with this product and packaging. Thank you. I'm hoping you'll let me open up one of these bags yes. after we finish. Yeah. They look amazing, and and meeting you is such a pleasure. I, I want to make sure that everyone watching understands and knows how they can find your product and follow you. Let everyone know what they can do. So our website is fattysundays.com. We ship nationwide. And, and to Canada. And to Canada. And on social, we're at Fatty Sundays. F-A-T-T-Y-S-U-N-D-A-Y-S, -T -T -S, like the day of the week. Wonderful. Well, follow Fatty Sundays. Follow GoDaddy, because every week we are bringing entrepreneurial conversation and inspiration to you across social on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all those places. So follow us and we will see you soon. Bye. Woo!